okay there are two data sets uh, store customers and store transactions right so if i open this then you just come to know so these are the small file okay to demonstrate you i just took uh, only small file where uh, we will get a clarity okay clarity of explanation i can say so a customer id age salary and gender country okay this is one file the second file is this okay a stores transactions okay so this is the second file again this is a very small data set see here this is very small data set where we have a uh, customer id product id and then amount and the date of transaction you can say right so these are the files which are in csv file format so before start creating a data frame right first of all we have to upload a, a file right so to upload a file first of all what we have to do is uh, go to go to data okay create a table crc we can upload file directly here if it is s3 then we will go to s3 here uh, dbfs databricks file systems then we will go here other data sources we will go here okay fine what we will do is like first of all i will upload this uh, two files files into input for file folder right no see here this file uploaded what is the file path this is a file path right i will just copy this path okay this is temporary okay uh, this is not the part of our uh, step one file we uploaded correct so we'll quickly go there and check it whether it is there or not right go to file store and tables and here is uh, input in the input if you see there is a store customer dot csv right so we upload this file just now correct so what we will do we will again select that path and upload another file okay transaction files upload it what we will do we will we will copy this path and put somewhere okay up to i will remove this column no problem so i hope you are clear how to upload a file then first what we will do um, out of this uh, out of these files how to create a data frame right so we will try to create two data frames first of all um, what is this this is a customers right so customers customers underscore df equal to arc dot re dot since it is also okay options i will go with options um so without options what will happen i will show you first then we will go with the options right then take the file path directly here okay inside the two columns right that show so just go to see here now this is a data frame okay this is a data frame but what is the what is missing here is see um, it 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 understood that uh, the header is also as one of the column right but to remove that right so i think we have to go with a header true right so what i will do here right options right options header equal to true right as there are many ways to create a data frame but you stick with one one approach otherwise what will happen you may get confused you can practice the rest of the process or rest of the methods once you get a hands on in this method right so what i will do i will again run it see this now it properly aligned right but if you see customers dot df dot print scheme yes see oh, by default it it taken all the all the columns as a uh, strings right because we haven't mentioned anything but if you see our file our file is also having a ids or salary or or amount right but generally amount should not be in in a string right so that is the reason what we have to do is again i want to um, add in for in for schema equal to true 
Okay. Okay. This is uh, this ran. Now again we will run this. See here. Are you able to understand? Customer ID integer it is given. Age integer. Salary integer. Gender string. Country string. Perfect, right? We can write a show directly here. This is a data frame. You agree, or what we what we can do? Let me run it again. And here, if you want in a table format, then write a display. Generally, we won't write in production, but the part practicing purpose, we will write. Just write a display. See, the same data uh, we are seeing in tabular format, right? I hope this is clear. This is how we have to create a data frame, right? Now, what we will do, same way, uh, let me delete this. Same way, we will create another data frame, right? What is the data frame? Um, transactions. I will use the same transactions underscore EF equal to again, spark dot read dot options. And let me just uh, copy paste because that file is also very much similar to first file, right? So, and then dot PSV. Take this path. That's it. So let me uh, delete this also since we are uh, we got the paths as well. So um, let me also do a show. What is the problem? Path must be absolute. Okay. Yes, guys. So this is the second data frame. So I already told you, right? This is. We can also see this in a in the table style also, like display. Okay. Right. 